Okay. Okay. Thank you for introduction. So I'm Koji Nishimura from the JIJ Inc. So I'm the so Japan startup company. So my presentation title is Estimation of Hyperparameters on Ising Model with Constraint. So in this talk, so I propose a parameter search algorithm of the co coefficient of a constraint term. So namely, so we focus on, on the cubo model with constraint. And the aim of other, so parameter search is searching the global minimum of cost function with constraints satisfied, both equality and inequality. And moreover, so byproduct, so our method can estimate the reliability of the solution. So namely, Okay, so let us begin with a cubo with constraint. So as you know, so when you deal with some kind of anneeding algorithm via quantum anneeding, so we often use the cubo model. And as you know, the cubo stands for quadratic unconstrained binary optimization. And the aim to deal with cubo is finding the a combination of QI, so which is both takes value both zero or one that minimize the Hamiltonian as depicted below. The quantum anneeding in general so use this format to search the optimal state by uh, applying the transverse field and the makes the schedule like that to list the optimal state. Now actually, so almost all practical models have constraint. So for example, in the industrial problems such as logistics, telecommunication, and the so traffic problem has a constraint problem. So one of the typical examples of the constraint in Cubo model is traveling salesman problem. So the aim of the traveling salesman problem is uh, so find the minimum path that the traveling salesman can uh, so, uh, travel all over the city only one time. So in this example, the cost function is uh, uh, cost function is depicted as the, so this one so distance, but actually so there is a so constraint, namely one hot constraint. The two types of constraint. And then, so we we'll present so previously how to deal with this constraint with cubo model. So let us so inter, uh, let me introduce the previous approaches. So first method is quite naive method applying the penalty method. So we're adding so penalty term. So this consists of the square term of the so constraint. So with a co coefficient. So naming you lambda. Uh, this approach adding just only the penalty terms to the original Hamiltonian to make the constraint satisfied. So if the so derived solution uh, is so constraint violated, the penalty term going to increase, so which increases the cost function too. However, so this problem is needs exhaustive fine tuning of the parameter lambda. So in general, in this case, in this case, the so, uh, number of parameter is only one. So this is not problem. But in the case, so we have to deal with a multiple constraint. So this kind of be the problem. And also, so if we increase the lambda, so, the, uh, so you can derive the solution with the constraint satisfied, but the cost function is increasing. And if you decrease the lambda, so, so we can decrease the cost function, but uh, we derive the solution which uh, violates the constraint. So we have to so exhaustive fine tuning to find the, this parameter. And also, this approach is not trivial in the case of inequality constraint. And the possible approach to deal with the inequality constraint by this penalty method, just, for example, using slack variables. But uh, slack variables to so convert the inequality problem to the equality constraint. But in general, so this requires additional bits. And then from now, so we're going to so introduce the two kind of approaches. So one approach is a kind of established method, augmented Lagrangian method. So we, go, we call this method ALM. So this is an established method for solving optimization problem, not only the anneeding, but also the numerical optimization. So to solving optimization problem with constraint. So in the original formulation, the, uh, the uh, so solution variable X is a continuous variable. So so suppose that so we, have, we have to minimize the cost function, so subject to the, this quantum equal constraint. 
The steps of the augmented Lagrangian method is straightforward. First, so minimize augmented Lagrangian function first. So who is, uh, where the, so introducing the linear term and the quadratic term. And then, so update coefficient of linear terms, so which depends to the low i, the coefficient of the square term. Then, uh, then, so we are going to update coefficient of quadratic term if ne necessary. So namely, the, uh, one of the naive, naive approach is so uh, multiply of some kind of ratio alpha. Also, this method is uh, so doing by continuous value a uh, continuous variable. Uh, recently, so Tanahashi and Tanaka introduced a method to apply this argument of Lagrangian method to, to Cubo. So also, the Cubo consists of the so discrete variable, and the argument of Lagrangian problem is not uh, is non-trivial. But actually, so they show the applying the argument of Lagrangian method improves the uh, finding the solution. So compared to the naive penalty method. So their approach is just minimize argument of Lagrangian Hamiltonian, depicted as so this linear term and quadratic term, and then update coefficient of linear terms, and then so update coefficient of quadratic terms. But actually, so this problem is so we have to need parameter tuning for initial mu and initial uh, alpha. And also, this method is not guaranteed to reach the global minima, since the augmented Lagrangian method finds a solution that satisfies the necessary condition of the global minima under constraint. And another approach is using Lagrangian draw problem plus subgradient method. So suppose that we want to so, uh, deal with the original problem, so minimizing the echo of subject to the, this kind of constraint. So we can formulate the Lagrangian draw problem and so the Lagrangian dual problem consists of the so linear term adding with the so constraint term. The one with the feature of the Lagrangian dual problem is so derived solution from the original problem. The cost function is, of course, the bigger than the optimal solution. So whereas the Lagrangian dual problem, the derived solution, is, uh, it, is, it can be proved that the derived solution is lower than the optimal solution because this is a relaxation problem. So our aim to first, so minimizing this uh, cost fun uh, this Lagrangian dual problem function, and then so maximize this function in respect to the so UI. So that so we can reach the optimal uh, uh, optimal energy from the bottom to top. And also the, the method, uh, the advantage of this method is so by uh, repeating these two method. So we can drive the upper bound of the optimal solution and the lower bound of the optimal solution. So because the original problem always finds the so solution which is bigger than optimal, the Lagrangian dual problem finds the solution which is smaller than optimal. So then we can estimate the duality gap. And uh, if we so decrease the duality gap, so we can, uh, we can drive the so solution quality. And actually, so this problem is uh, applied by the so uh, Ozeki. So his approach is minimizing Lagrangian vacuization problem and the updated coefficient of linear terms. And so, in fact, so this method uh, is not to aim it for the so subgradient method originally. So he originally introduced the method for eliminating quadratic penalty term from DBA machine. But actually, the, this, uh, the problem of this method is parameter search process is quite unstable. So, because so there is no quadratic term, so if we, uh, so no, no, quad, uh, no quadratic penalty term. So, in this, for this reason, so we have to need quite fine tuning of step size eta. And then, so we are going to, uh, so my idea, so this is a method. So idea is combine some subgradian method to so augment the Lagrangian method. So also the sub subgradian method is so seems to be so reasonable. So because we find the uh, upper bound or lower bound, but actually so this is unstable. So if we apply, if we can apply the quadratic term to the subgradian uh, subgradian method, so we may we may can stabilize the parameter such, and also. The update rule or argument regression method and subgradient method is quite similar. So is there might some kind of correspondence between low i and eta? 
So this is my algorithm. So we, so setting the problem first, so minimizing a function of f of x, so subject to the so equality constraint, so gi equals to zero. So note that, so also we don't so present in this, uh, in this moment, but we can easily extend it to inequality constant, a const constraint, so without adding so any kind of stack variables. So first, our approach is minimize augmented Lagrangian function, so which consists of the linear term and the quadratic term. And then uh, we get the upper bound and lower bound. So after, so we get the uh, solution by using, for example, quantum annealer, for example. And the, so we derive the, we can derive the lower bound of the, this point. And also, in case of upper bounds, so we can use, for example, non-feasible solution where the constraint is satisfied, or if non-feasible solution, so we can set the sufficiently large value. Note that the initial variable of the initial variable of the ui and low i is set to zero. And then we are going to linear term update, so which correspond to the subgradient update. So if constraint is not satisfied. And so this uh, step size is so proportional to so upper bound minus lower bound, so which is equivalent to duality gap. Then, so we are going to so quadratic term update, for which correspond to so the augmented regression method kind of update. So, the, so we update the augmented regression method by using so this, uh, this variable eta, so which is inspired by the correspondence between the low i and the eta. And then, so we repeat, it, we repeat, it, uh, repeat this method until the solution converges. So let us so, in, uh, introduce the numerical experiment to how it works, our algorithm. So we uh, present the traveling salesman problem which, uh, we, uh, which has an so, equality constraint. So we uh, compare the four kinds of method. So one method is augmented regression method with the coefficient uh, of quadrant parameter increasing, so based on the, this alpha. We set alpha equal 1.1. .1. The second is the uh, augmented Lagrangian method with the uh, so coefficient, coefficient, coefficient of quadratic parameter fits. And also, we apply the uh, naive Lagrangian dual problem plus subgradient method. And then, so we apply our method. So we compare to these four methods. And you, we use the annealing method as a simulated annealing, but note that so our algorithm, the, the annealing method is uh, not relevant, so that our algorithm can be applicable to some kind of annealer, for example, d wave quantum annealer, straightforwardly. And the, so let's show the, how the algorithm uh, behaves. So for example, uh, in the case of the augmented regression problem with the quadratic size increased, so this is a cost function, so where the so x-axis shows the parameter update iteration, and the, cost, uh, the y-axis shows the cost function, and the uh, black dashed line shows the so optimal solution. For the uh, augmented regression method with quadratic term increased, so cannot lead the feasible solution in 50 steps. An augmented language with quadratic term fix, so it depends on the initial variable of the quadratic term co uh, coefficient. So with small, uh, for example, with small coefficient, so we cannot, uh, we cannot derive uh, some kind of uh, feasible solution. But as we increase the solution, so we get the optimal solution. But actually, so, so also, so if we tune the parameters of uh, low zero, so we can so derive the solution, but this is nothing but the extens exhaustive search. And also, naive subgradient method fails so con uh, completely. So this cost function so always so takes the value zero and no feasible solution. And our algorithm, so the so initial, uh, initial iteration, so behaves like the subgradient method and jumps near the optimal solution and fluctuate, in the, uh, fluctuate around this uh, optimal solution. And also, so we can uh, experiment with a more larger instance and give the same result. Should try to conclude. Okay. And also, so we can uh, do the numerical experiment on the inequality constraint, and it works very well. And the, our algorithm, as a, as a byproduct result, 
So remember that so we, uh, we are going to calculate in the course of the, this iteration of the upper bound and lower bound. So that's so the most so, uh, interesting feature is our method calculates the upper bound and lower bound during parameter search, so which is enable us to get information of the reliability of the solution obtained by annealing method. So because in general, so quantum annealing is, uh, even if the, we get the solution, we don't know so how, uh, how good is the solution is. So let us give a conclusion. So we formulate the editing model with constraint, so which needs exhaustive parameters as for penalty method. So we introduce our method to combine some gradient method and LMA, and so, so gives a nice performance compared to the previous approach algorithm. And moreover, so we can obtain rough upper and lower bound information. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you very much. Quick questions. I, I have a question. Uh, it's in the chat. Uh, do you have a paper uh, about this work that you could share? Uh, actually, so uh, the paper is preparing right now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Nice talk. I have a quick question about your method. How do you choose the eta parameter that you use to update? Uh, so the question is, so how to choose uh, the element parameter? Yes, your parameter eta. How do you choose it? Uh, it, it uh, you mean the, wait a second. Yes. This eta? Yes. Yes, so this eta is proportional to the so upper bound minus lower bound. So actually, as a, so that's so, uh, in the initial state, so upper, uh, the, so di uh, difference between upper bound, lower bound, and quite large, so which gives the, uh, so quite large step size. But if we uh, iterate the algorithm, and if we can, so decrease the, so difference of the upper bound and lower bound, so the number, uh, the step size, we are lower and lower. And then we're going to list the uh, so optimal solution. So the uh, answer is uh, we choose uh, so e uh, eta, so which is proportional to upper bound minus lower bound. So we so calculate in the course of the iteration, so upper bound and lower bound. And from that, we calculate the eta. OK, so. Yes, so let's uh, thank you again. Let's uh, move to the... Uh